A heartbreaking loss for the Coastal Carolina Shauna Clears on Saturday night. Good Sunday. This is the David Bennett Show. I'm Rich Crampanis. We bring in Coastal Head Coach David Bennett and Coach, uh, a wild ending to the game against Gardner Webb. Rich, it's uh, about being disciplined and paying attention to detail. We, you know, we look early in the game. We don't execute a play and we have to settle for a field goal. We recover a fumble, but we lined up off sides. Uh, it's just, you know, even at the end of the game, Rich. We run that kickoff back. Our kickoff return team does an outstanding job. Trey Henderson takes it all the way in. We have guys run off the bench celebrating like the game's over. The game's not over. So we have to kick off from the 15 rather than the 30. And then we have a face mask on the sideline they call. And then a late hit, we, you know, it looked like our, one of our young freshmen made contact right in the white. So that's 45 yards, 15 yards on the kick, 30 yards. After the play, we, they had the ball on the 15-yard line, and uh, we just got to have more discipline in that, Rich. That's as simple as that. We've got to work on discipline this week. Coach, as someone who's been around this program quite a bit, especially in training camp, I can't reiterate enough how much that I personally heard the words discipline from day one of camp and resonated throughout the season. And unfortunately, I think your kids are learning the – the, the, the ill effects of, of bad discipline uh, here after this game. Yep. It's the small things that carry over to the big things. And as the head football coach, it's my job to get get us more discipline, Rich. Let's take a look at the highlights of Coastal Carolina and Gardner-Webb from Saturday night at Brooks Stadium and Benton Field. Yeah, Rich, they brought in a live Shauna Clear. I think they named him Maddox for the professor that named the Shauna Clear. And boy, a tough day today, Rich. Uh, the, the flesh, you feel sick, like you could just – throw up from the game, but the spirit leads us through. And uh, the guys are getting ready to come out there. Philip George gets knocked out on the first opening kickoff. And uh, we take that thing down there when we get it. Miss execute, so we have to settle for a field goal by Grant Clayton out of Flora High School, AC Flora, and go up three nothing, Rich. 42 yard field goal for Grant Clayton. Uh, good boot right there. And then here's a tough one, Coach. Derek Frazier with a fumble recovery, but offsides is going to take that off the board. Discipline, Rich. It's all discipline. Josh lines up offsides over there. You've got the official to talk to, say, Am I okay? Am I okay? We line up offsides so we don't get the ball. We got a chance here to go up 10 0 on them. Don't because we just line up offsides and got a lot of discipline to work on this week, Rich. So the Gardner Webb drive stays alive and a uh, nice play here by Josh Norman and Bulldogs have to settle for a field goal to tie it at three. Great job coming up there. Don't even look at their bench. Get on back over there. Let's play. Next play. Uh, get ready for the next play. Hold them to a field goal here. Good play right here. Uh, I believe by Trey Henderson on the pass. They have to settle for a field goal. So it's a 3-3 game in the first quarter. As you see the Gardner Webb field goal on the board to tie things up. 3-3, and we should be up, Rich. 14 and nothing and a 10 and nothing. We just didn't uh, take advantage of our opportunities. Great catch here by Chris Floyd out of Greenwood, South Carolina, getting the first down, getting this drive going. So Aramis Hillary in the offense on the move, and uh, we see Aramis here with a nice pass to Matt Hazel. Good job to Matt Hazel. Matt got some bruised ribs in this game and just kept playing. Tough guy out of North Augusta, South Carolina. And, Aramis didn't have his best night, so he'll have a great week this week and try to get back on track. And this is a rare miscue by Aramis. Yeah, forced that in the middle, and they got an interception on the deflection there. And Can't force it. Just got to relax and read it and take what they give us. Coach, I think this is a huge play in the game on this punt right here. Uh, Gardner's web special teams was great. Their punter did an outstanding job. Great play there. They knock it down. They give it to us on the one. We just got to drive it out of there. But here we go. First down, Aaron Jones. Lays it on the ground. They get it on the one. But I'm going to tell you what, what an outstanding job by our defense here, Rich. A goal line stand, first and goal on the one. Bam! Great hit by Derek Frazier right there. Uh, so now it's second down. I I'm just telling you, an outstanding job by our defense. Desmond Stewart involved in this tackle on second and goal. Him and Johnny Hartsfield doing a great job. Now it's third and goal. They're going to run it outside. Great tackle right here by Andre Jacobs. So. They got to settle for a field goal, but we gave it and set it up for them and, and gave them the ball there on the one-yard line. Great job by our defense. Had to feel like a victory because on the one-yard line, it's now 6-3 Gardner-Webb. Your defense, uh, you can't ask for much more than that. Nope. They did an outstanding job. Uh, drive going right here. Good throw by Aramis uh, to Akeem Wesley. Uh, 
Uh, Got to keep this drive going. Uh, we had some good field position Saturday night, Rich. We just uh, didn't execute, didn't have enough offense for the whole evening and gave up too much uh, to them by our defense. So, again, we didn't play great on either side of the ball, Rich. Nice play here by DeMario Bennett, the transfer from the University of South Carolina, and you're on the move, Coach. Got it going, got it going, but got to keep going and finish off the drive. Great run here by Aramis. Get that ball in that outside arm. I think it's second and one right here. Oh, boy, I tell you what. You don't get no redos, do you? Well, here, Hillary continuing to move the offense. Uh, another nice pass, this one to Chris Floyd. Good job standing in there, good protection, and – Again, Chris Floyd doing a great job of coming back to the football, catching it, and getting the first down. Sets the stage for the Coastal Ice cool play of the game, Coach. It's a double pass. Matt Hazel with a TD strike to Akeem Wesley. Double pass. Matt does a nice job of laying that thing up for Akeem Wesley. We throw that thing backwards, throw it up, give him a chance. Great job. Keep coming back to that football. Good strong hands by Akeem. Uh, putting us up, I believe, 10 to 6 here, Rich. Coastal Carolina with a 10-6 lead in the second quarter. And, Coach, a uh, tough break here for Niccolo, but, boy, he's a tough customer. Yeah, that's uh, – we. I swear, we got to get that halo, halo rule back in effect. It's so dangerous to go be able to – you know, a kid so exposed right there to catching the ball. And, but we get good field position right here, Rich. Uh, Niccolo is tough. Boy, he's mighty tough. Good play here by Mike McClure out of Rock Hill, South Carolina, sophomore linebacker. We just – Keep, got to keep doing it. Got to have more of them. We can't give up 400 yards offense, Rich. Uh, this is late in the first half. It's 10-6 Coastal. Another good play by Derek Frazier. Derek Frazier, senior out of Orangeburg, South Carolina. A good tackle for a loss right here. Come on, Desmond. Get him. This right for the half. Good coverage there by uh, Chris Thomas, uh, transfer from Hofstra. And uh, I think we're going at halftime up 10-6. But Gardner-Webb opens up the third quarter with this touchdown. They're up 13 to 10. Didn't do a good job coming out defensively. We had miscommunication right there, and uh, we had a safety man covering the tight end. We didn't cover him, Rich. Just didn't cover him. Travis Small with the run here for eight yards. Good run by Travis. He gets low, gets behind his pads, and he's learning and improving just a sophomore. Bootleg right here. Good play. Denzel Rice stepped in and did some really nice things for us with Lott out and Philip George out. Uh, so uh, looking forward to Denzel Rice playing a lot of football for us. Good job here getting north, Pookie, getting north, Akeem, getting low. Good job picking up the first down. It's still 13-10 Gardner-Webb at this point as uh, Coastal trying to get uh, the go-ahead score. What a catch by Matt Hazel. Wow. Good hands by Matt Hazel. Got really good hands. Reaches down that ball's about an inch off the ground. Makes an outstanding catch right there. And then more Matt Hazel uh, as you're moving it into Gardner-Webb yep. territory. Getting that thing towards the till zone. I think got it to the plus 29. Settle for a have to go field goal attempt. We don't gain any more yards from right there. And so uh, Grant Clayton's field goal comes up about one yard short. So we didn't get anything on second or third down. And that's just not acceptable, Rich. Here's Josh Norman with the pass breakup. It sets the stage for fourth down, Coach. And here comes the Crescent Bank chalkboard uh, to show what's happened here. Great play by Josh. We got him where we want him. We got him punting. We're going to get the ball. Went down three points, 13 to 10. Uh, Ladarius Hawthorne out of Ware Shoals, South Carolina, comes through, blocks the punt. He blocks it, and you'll see the ball's laying right beside him. But their young man, 19, who lets him through, picks up the ball and runs for the first down. There it is. Get it, Ladarius. And we've got to have spies right here. We're going back to set up a return. Cuts inside of Tyler McCarthy. We don't make the tackle. And they pick it up and rush for a first down. You don't hardly ever see this. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. He gained about 30 yards picking it up. Just uh, kind of typical of the evening, Rich. They uh, – Turn something in, some, I mean, unbelievable. And then they go down and score. So rather than us being set up to score, they pick it up, run it, and take it on down and get a jump pass touchdown, Rich. In Coastal Carolina now in a 20-10 to 10 hole. Here's Aramis escaping the rush, Coach. Uh, you're here at the 20-yard line, but a holding is going to negate this. Got it down to the 20. Uh, call Tim Franklin uh, out of Prosperity, South Carolina, for holding. Again, we talk about the discipline, the discipline, the small things. we got to move our feet and not grab and throw. Oh, boy. 
And here's a fumble. Again, typical. There's the ball laying down there. We just recover the ball. We stop the drive. We're in scoring position on the 30 going in, but we don't do it. They punt it to us. Great catch here by Matt Hazel. Great hands, great concentration going up to get the ball. So it's still 20 to 10 as the Chanticleers begin to put a drive together. We're in fourth quarter action at this point, and it's Hillary with another pass, and this time it's a pass interference on Chris Floyd. Definite interference. That was their corner that replaced the kid that had been ejected, and uh, Aramis did a great job of standing in there in the pocket and throwing the ball, standing in there again and throwing. Great job by Aramis. Uh, we got to just keep it going. Got to keep it going. The coach uh, bringing up a third down play here, and Matt Hazel's going to draw a pass interference. Yeah, Matt wasn't allowed to go up and catch that ball. You got to give the receiver a chance or go for it yourself rather than push him. So we're set up right here with a first and goal. Good job by Travis. Reach it out and make sure you hang on to it. He crossed the plane with it, but you're not going to usually get that call, if you're, especially if you're on the road, Rich. Got to go for one, got to tie it up. And another near opportunity to get the ball. Yep. Or, uh, you know, going back, we didn't have a chance to tie it up. But uh, right here, again, an inch away. An inch away, the small things do matter. This is Josh Norman getting called for pass interference. Big call right there in the game. Uh, said Josh kind of reached out and grabbed him and uh, sets them up here as well. There, again, look here. We get a fumble. We got a fumble. All we got to do is recover it. We don't. We just a hair late. And small things do matter, Rich. Small things carry over to the big things. And another near turnover, this time Purnell Williams. How about we pick that off? Good pass breakup by Purnell Williams out of Coffee County, but we pick it. They don't have a chance to kick the field goal, Rich. So there is another field goal for Gardner-Webb, 23-17, 2.06 left in the game, and here comes Trey Henderson, Coach. Two minutes to go in the game. Uh, we're down, what, six points? Unbelievable job here. Great job blocking by Akeem Wesley. Derek Frazier, look at Derek block the kicker right there. Trey Henderson does a super job running this thing back for a touchdown. Now it's tied. All we need is the extra point to go up. But we lose some discipline right here, Rich. We've got, uh, you know, we'll watch it right here again on the Walk em All Land and Timber Rewind. Unbelievable job running the kickoff back, tying it up. All we need is the extra point to go up. But, well, Coach, as you see here, after Trey Henderson gets into the end zone, uh, you kind of saw what was coming as far as that 15-yard penalty goes. Yeah, again, you'll see right here just a, a lack of discipline. Number one, you can't be on the field with your helmet off. And number two, we've got three guys right here, three seniors you see, Chad McField, Dexter Holman, Josh Norman, running out on the field to congratulate Trey. Appreciate your excitement, but wait till he gets to the sideline. So we kick the extra point. We go up 24-23, but we have to kick off. They take it on the, on the kickoff, and we have to kick off from the 15-yard line rather than the 30. So that's 15 yards. They return it back here, get it over on the sideline. I don't know where the face mask comes in. That's a mystery call. There's no face mask. But uh, Rick Rivers, a true freshman, you can't touch them once they put their feet uh, in the white there on the sideline. They got the ball down on the 15-yard line, Rich. All they need is a field goal to win, so they're set up for it. They run it three times and kick the field goal to win the ball game. And there it is, a long losing streak is over for Gardner-Webb against Coastal Carolina, Coach. As I said, <clears throat> of the flesh, you hurt, you feel sick. The spirit will lead us through it, and uh, tough loss, Rich. Tough loss for our Shawna Clears. 26-24 the final on Saturday night. Time for us to take a break. When we come back, we'll head back to Brooks Stadium in Benton Field for post-game reaction. You're watching the David Bennett Show presented by HTC. Waste Management presents Where Are They Now? A look back at former Coastal Carolina Chanticleers. Andreas Perkins was a running back at Coastal Carolina from 2003 to 2006. He is the Chanticleers' all-time rushing leader. His 46 career rushing touchdowns is still a Big South Conference record. So what is Perk up to now? Uh, I'm at a West Lawrence High School, my old alma mater, uh, coaching football, basketball, softball, um, doing the running backs for football, just having a good time, trying to give back a little bit. Where Are They Now is presented by Waste Management, a proud sponsor of The David Bennett Show. In life, there is a common thread that binds us. It's not always something we can see or hear. 
or touch. The connection that brings us together as people. People who feel that technology adds up to more than just wires and plastic. But the thread that binds us together in the most important facet of our lives, connecting with it. HTC. This is life. Connect with it. A and I, over, t over the years that we've had working relationships, they've handled fires, water losses, wind losses. They've been there for us so that we could be there for our clients. Their professionalism, their follow-up, it, it has been absolutely flawless. If everybody did the work as they promised to do, like a and I does, we'd be in real good shape in this town. When disaster strikes, we're the ones to call. Locals love Greek rats for lunch. They say it's the fresh salads, fantastic wraps, and seafood baskets. But when you experience those incredible waterfront views, you get that relaxed Greek rats attitude. On the Marsh Walk in Merrill's Inlet on Celebration Lake in Florence. Coastal Carolina University Chanticleers need to concentrate on playing their best, not worrying about what to do if an injury occurs. As Strand Orthopedic Consultants and Coastal Orthopedic Associates, we offer all our patients comprehensive orthopedic care from our team of renowned specialists. So no matter what your game, you can stay on top of it. Strand Orthopedic Consultants and Coastal Orthopedic Associates, proud to be the team physicians of the Coastal Carolina University Chanticleers and sponsors of the Dave Bennett Coaches Show. Today, you can find healthcare information almost everywhere. What you can't find is a single reliable source to guide you through your options when you or your family needs medical treatment. That's why News Channel 15 has partnered with Conway Medical Center to produce a new one-of-a-kind resource, Your Health, Your Decision. It will help you understand your treatment options when you or someone you love needs care. Stay tuned for more information on Your Health, Your Decision on News Channel 15 and carolinalive.com. It's time to hear from Coach Bennett's staff and their thoughts on Saturday's game. This week's coordinator comments are being brought to you by Coca-Cola. We gave up uh, creases when we knew we had to be gap sound versus this team. And again, just got a lot of work to do. You know, we had to play some young guys in the secondary, but that's no excuse. They are talented enough. They know exactly what to do. We just got to execute and get it done. A lot of good, a lot of bad at the same time. Uh, the bad boils down to discipline. Uh, Coach has the best quote of it all. We're still trying to grow them up. We have to stay disciplined in all that we do, and if we do stay disciplined, uh, uh, it might be a little bit different. So we're going to stay behind the guys. We still got a lot to play for. Uh, Want to win a season, and that's what we're going to work towards. Yeah, tough night. Uh, defensively, we've got to do a better job. Offensively, we've got to do a better job. Special teams-wise, we block a punt, and when we block the punt, they pick it up and get the first down. Hadn't seen that happen in, in all our years of coaching, Rich. So, again – uh, can't quit on these guys, can't give up on them, but we've got a lot of work to do. We've got to work on the number one thing, though, again, is being disciplined. Coach, time now to take a look at the stats. When you look at the uh, overall numbers, uh, Gardner-Webb able to outgain you 405 to 267. Again, defensively we can't give up that much. Offensively we got to do better than that. And penalties, Rich, 11 penalties for 100 yards, that's, that's not us. That cannot be us. And that falls into the category of discipline. Once again, Coach, you take a look at some of the individual numbers. Travis Small, uh, number one on the depth chart this week, at running back 12 carries for 41 yards. And uh, Aramis Hillary, uh, 20 of 33 for 183 yards. He had one pick and no TD passes. Turnovers, Rich. We had a couple. They didn't. They fumbled it and we didn't get it. So, again, got some work to do. And understandably, a heartbroken group of Shauna Clears talking about a tough loss after the game. It was tough. You know, we made some mistakes, but, uh, you know, nobody can take responsibility for it. We lost as a team, and we just got to move on and keep pressing on. I hate to see the season go down like this for them boys, man. They last girl around coming in. Really worked hard this offseason, and, uh, I mean, we got to keep fighting, keep working hard, man, and build on this thing we got. We can't just lay down and let, let the season go down to waste, man. We just got to keep working hard. And we just got overexcited. The game was so close, and we made a big play that we thought took the game over, and we just got overexcited. That's all, man. What do you learn from it? Learn a lot. Learn to be disciplined, not to jump ahead of ourselves, and just stay positive and just stay at ease until the clock hit double, hit all those zeros, and we'll be all right. It's pretty tough, you know. We work, you know, so hard, and then the big plays like that, so everybody' emotions running high. Uh, you know, season not over. Got to bounce back. You know, got another game next week. 
RACC peak performer from the Gardner-Webb game, Trey Henderson, the junior defensive back with the tremendous kickoff return for a touchdown. Unfortunately, uh, it wasn't the game winner. Nope. If it's the end of the game, we run out there and celebrate. But it was not the end of the game. And so we had to kick from the 15. But uh, proud of Trey. Trey, play, he's playing good, made some good plays at defensive back and did a great job on that return, Rich. Time now for our injury report brought to you each and every week by Conway Medical Center. And, Coach, unfortunately, uh, this is a very long list. And uh, the two most recent ones uh, from the Gardner-Webb game, Philip George had that concussion early in the game, and you were thin at safety to begin with. And uh, that, that kind of got the injury train rolling. Yeah, with a lot out, uh, we had Philip George and Johnny Houston, two sophomore uh, safeties. But Philip George on opening kickoff goes down and head-to-head contact happens, and we lose him. Uh, with a concussion, and uh, Matt Hazel kept playing with some bruised ribs. Proud of Matt. Matt's a tough young man, and uh, again, if these guys, we might get one or two back, but we got to get ready to play. Time to take a break. When we come back, it's time for Sean's Corner. The coach goes one-on-one with Marcus Whitener. That's when the David Bennett Show continues right after this. The David Bennett Show is brought to you by Palmetto Chevrolet, a i Fire and Water Restoration, Creek Rats, Conway Medical Center, Bojangles, the Britton Law Firm, and Coastal Ice. Hello, I'm Tommy Britton. Along with my children, Case, Preston, and Mary Madison, I practice law here in Myrtle Beach. We're now known as the Britton Law Firm. We're all graduates of Walford College, but we're great supporters of David Bennett, Coastal Carolina football, and the great university Coastal Carolina has become. It's been a pleasure over the years to sponsor this program, the Britton Law Firm, all claims, trials in all courts. Come get that relaxed Greek rats attitude on the Marsh Walk in Merle Center and overlooking Celebration Lake on South Cashua in Florence. With my HTC wireless phone, I'm always connected to the world around me. Whether it's simple everyday things like a call from a friend, a text from my daughter, or even an update to my Facebook status while I'm out and about, HTC connects me with the things that mean the most. HTC is your wireless headquarters for back to school. Get three months of HTC residential high-speed internet free with new HTC wireless service. HTC, this is life. Connect with it. Welcome back to the David Bennett Show. It's time now for Sean's Quarter, brought to you by HTC. This is life. Connect with it. We're here with running back Marcus Whitener of Union, South Carolina, and we got a few questions for him. Marcus, the number one question is, growing up, who was the biggest influence on you? I would have to say the biggest influence on me was my mother. She she raised me up, taught me everything I needed to know, and basically just made me into the person I am today. And I'd like to thank her for that. Yeah, I'm proud of you, how you studied so hard in the classroom and do so well. Thus far at Coastal, what's your best memory of Coastal Carolina? Uh, I would have to say Gardner Webb. Two years ago, I got in. It was like my first shot. I got in. I, first time I touched the ball, I scored. Then after the game, I got game ball, and you was like, uh, "Who is this dude?" <laughs> it's just, it's just a good feeling. I don't, I don't remember that real well. Maybe you can get another game ball. Maybe, maybe I can. If you had one thing you could redo in your life. Marcus, what would it be? I don't think I would redo anything in my life. I think I, I love the way my life has turned out so far. And I'm just I'm just blessed, really. All right. Um, when you hear the phrase game day, what do you think of when you hear game day? When I hear game day, I just think it's time to go to work, time to get that W. That's all. Okay. And last thing, pick one coach – on our staff, and let's see how you can imitate that coach. I think I'm going to have to go with my boy, Coach James. He loves to say this when we're running and when we're doing all types of stuff like that. It's hard, but it's fair. If you don't like it, transfer. Or, <laughs> or join the band. Hard, but it's fair. <laughs> if you don't like it, join the band. <laughs> <laughs> the David Bennett Show is brought to you by Waste Management. Coastal Orthopedic and Strand Orthopedic, Coca-Cola, Crescent Bank, and HTC, title sponsor of the David Bennett Show for the past eight years. 
All right, guys, it's crunch time. The game's on the line. You've played great so far, but you got to finish the job. you got to finish the job. You're the team everybody wants to be. Come on, guys. Let's go show them why we're the champs. Right now, get the longest-lasting, most versatile, and most fuel-efficient lineup in America at Palmetto Chevrolet. No one has more Consumer Digest Best Buys for the 2010 model year than Chevrolet. Coastal Carolina Chanticleers and Palmetto Chevrolet. A winning combination. And nobody beats a Palmetto deal. In life, there is a common thread that binds us. It's not always something we can see, or hear, or touch. The connection that brings us together as people. People who feel that technology adds up to more than just wires and plastic. But the thread that binds us together in the most important facet of our lives, connecting with it. HTC. This is life. Connect with it. It's time for a Bojangles blast from the past. The date, October 23rd, 2004. The Liberty Flames came to Conway and couldn't slow down the Shantz ground game. Mike Tolbert busted this 52-yard run. CCU racks up 285 yards on the ground against the Flames in a 33-6 route. It helped spark Coastal's run to its first Big South Conference Championship. Blast from the Past is brought to you by your Grand Strand Bojangles, proud sponsors of The David Bennett Show. Time now for HTC Scouting Report. Coach, time to move on, and it's a tough test. Stony Brook, Shawna Clears have yet to beat the Seawolves in this series history. First year, we turned it over four times here, Rich, then went up there and lost, I think, 17 to 10. And then last year, they got out to a huge lead against us, and we fought back, but wasn't quite enough, so... Uh, we're going to play them in a, a tough environment, and uh, we've got a tall task ahead of us and look forward to a week of getting ready. Long road trip as well, Coach. You'll be uh, going on a charter plane on Friday. Uh, but this team, what will you say to them on Monday morning at that practice uh, to try and get the ship righted? It's time to see what you're made of. It's time to see what we have inside. And, uh, Again, always find the positive in everything. A lot of a lot of bright spots, but we've got to get the things cleaned up, like lack of discipline. And coach, we'll try and work on that throughout the week, and we'll join you next week from Long Island, New York. All the highlights of Stony Brook and Coastal. Coach, thanks for being so candid uh, after a tough ball game. Got to do it, Rich. Got to do it. All right, for the coach, Dave Bennett, I'm Rich Crampanis. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week in New York for all the highlights between Stony Brook and Coastal Carolina. The David Bennett Show is brought to you by People's Underwriters with two locations in Conway and Carolina Forest. Visit peoplesunderwriters.com. We're proud to have Coastal Ice as part of our team this year, providing ice to the PD and all over the Grand Strand. We're proud to bring you the Coastal Ice cool play of the game. And when you think of ice, think of Coastal Ice and call 488-4-ICE. Everyone at Coastal Ice wants to wish the Shawna Clears the best of luck. Coastal Ice says, Go Shots! Locals love Creek Rats for dinner. They rave about the seafood dinner special. Baskets, po'boys, wraps, and burglars. When you experience those incredible waterfront views, you get that relaxed Creek Rats attitude. On the Marsh Walk in Merrill's Inlet and on Celebration Lake in Florence. My HTC Digital Cable Service delivers all my favorite shows, movies, and sports entertainment. We always crack up watching comedies on video on demand and raise the roof cheering for our favorite sports teams in high def. HTC offers all the channels and features I love and connects me with the ones who mean the most. NFL Network and NFL Red Zone provide the most extensive weekly coverage and put you in the action with every touchdown. Now available on HTC Digital Cable. HTC, this is life. Connect with it.